The Rainbow Riding Academy is a place of promise where children of all abilities receive an innovative type of therapy called hippotherapy. During a hippotherapy session, specially trained therapists use horses as therapeutic tools to help clients achieve their individualized goals. I guess the first uh, contact we had with it was Keith Parker was doing a revival at our church and his son was severely handicapped and he loved horses. His name was Pete. Uh, his name really wasn't Pete, but that's the only word that he could say, so they just changed his name to Pete. And uh, Pete could make noises. You really couldn't understand what he was trying to say, but you could always understand that he was trying to say something. And we were at church, it was on a Wednesday night, and I had a couple of friends here with me from Texas, or it wouldn't have worked because I couldn't have got him on the horse by myself. But we asked him, do you want to go ride a horse? His father said that he really loved horses. So we got him here and got him up on a mare. It took about an hour. And he had been in that wheelchair for so long that he was conformed to it. And when we got him up on the horse, his feet were still staying in that reclined position up almost even with the horse's ears, and I was sitting way back on that mare's rump so he could lean back against my chest, and we were riding around the arena down there, and he was enjoying himself, or appeared to be, and I noticed that his legs started to come down. After about 15 or 20 minutes, his legs had probably came down a foot to 18 inches. After 30 minutes, they were down at his side. And uh, we were going around the far end of the arena. It was outside then, it wasn't covered. And I said, Pete, do you see your daddy standing down there? I said, can you wave at your daddy? I said, holler at your daddy. And we were just kind of having a one-sided conversation up there. At the top of this kid's lungs, who had to change his name because the only thing he could say was Pete as clear as a bell. yee I will never forget it till I die. And I realized that there was something magical going on between that horse and that child. I don't know what allowed that to happen, but that was the first, uh, that was our first endeavor into hippotherapy. And then shortly after that, the uh, Health Healthcare Foundation approached us, wanted to know if we would board a horse farm, and that's where it started. Hippotherapy is effective because of the sensory stimulation an individual receives while riding a horse. The horse's gait mimics the patterns humans naturally make when they walk. During the ride, sensory messages are relayed to the rider's brain to coordinate muscle movement and maintain balance. This results in improved functionality for the patients. Coleman has benefited in several ways from this program. Um, it has helped him with his balance. It has helped him with his speech. Um, it has helped him in just following directions. You can tell after each session that he's a little bit different. Uh, you know, he, he makes different sounds uh, after each session, after they've worked with him, trying to get him to speak and things like that. And he's also uh, a little bit, since, since our son's tube fed, um, they'll give him some food and he'll actually, you know, try some different foods while he's in the session. So that's been a huge, huge improvement there, just exposing him to different things. You know, usually programs like this, you know, our basic health insurance wouldn't cover. So I can honestly say that if it wasn't uh, a you know, provided by the scholarship, we would not be able to participate with our son. We just wouldn't be able to afford it. Funding for this program is hugely important because we do not charge the parents any fees to ride. We know from experience that these parents are under extreme financial burden. A lot of their children have multiple therapies that they have to pay for, whether that be speech therapy, PT, uh, OT in the schools or in a clinic setting. In addition to that, they have medical bills, hospital bills that they have to pay for. Our second greatest need is for volunteers. 
We know that our program is successful because we have volunteers who are committed to making this work. Without them, we would not be able to provide the service. The volunteers make this thing tick. Without those volunteers, there would not be a hippotherapy program for these kids. It takes three to four people every session with every child. And they come out here and they don't get paid. They take off from work. They come after school. They do this instead of going to the ballpark. So they're the heroes of the program. I would just encourage anybody who's interested in getting involved in a program that changes the lives of our children, it changes the lives of our parents, it also changes the lives of our volunteers to, uh, to give us a call to consider what you can do to make a difference in the life of a child by volunteering um, at the Rainbow Riding Academy. If you're having a really, really bad day on Tuesday, come to our house. You'll go home that night thanking the Lord for what you do have.